So, Sneeko, after months of engaging in anti-black racism, anti-Jewish racism, which is crazy, by the way, because he's, like, quarter Jewish, has now surrendered his anti-Semitism, kind of, and is now embracing anti-racist ideology, which has incited the ire of his supporters in the comment section of his Twitter, in which they're now calling him a tool of the Jews, they're going off on him, and it begs the question, bro, like, at 20 five or 26 however old he is why like how does it take this long to realize that white supremacy isn't the answer you know what i mean like i'm not understanding this but let's see what's going on over there because they're mad at him now for acknowledging the fact that jews are people and that racism isn't the answer a lot of these white supremacists i would say majority of them and i i don't think anybody would refute this they claim to be christian they claim to be christian christian white supremacists and what's what's a huge revelation that I'm not that I'm realizing is they don't seem to realize that Jesus was from the Palestine region. Jesus was Middle Eastern. Do you think Jesus had blonde hair and blue eyes? They keep worshiping themselves, thinking that they're the supreme race, but their God is a man from the Middle East. And they, they talk about the clothes. Oh, look at you wearing your funky. He could have. I've, I grew up with Middle Easterners. Some of them had green eyes and brown hair. J Jesus could have been white, but he definitely was Middle Eastern. But he probably might not have been white passing, though, because he was Jewish. So, yeah, he probably wasn't. At that time, in that point in, in time, yeah, yeah, nah, he probably wasn't. Nah, he probably wasn't white passing. But J Jesus is Jewish, though, which is funny when I see, like, white nationalists talk about how much they love Jesus and how much they hate Jews. It's like, you worship a Jew. You worship a man who was Jewish. Like, how, in what way do you, how do you justify, how do you even justify, how do you make that, how do you make that square? If you don't like Jewish people and you hate Jewish people and you just, like, how do you find yourself, number one, worshiping a Jew, number two, following an abrahamic faith which is rooted in judaism this goes for muslims as well who don't like jews like how do you make like your religion doesn't exist without them why even follow a religion rooted in their ideology if you dislike them so much i don't understand it can't comprehend it hey, muslim clothes jesus was wearing a thobe jesus walked around in sandals do you do you not understand that do you think that jesus wore a suit and tie do you think he had like A30 eyes? Like and these white supremacist nerds will go on Twitter and be like, look at the, my eyes at A31. You're like the rich kids in school who never did anything. And so they go and piggyback off of their dad's accomplishments. My dad is rich. I'm going to call my uncle. What, your eye type? You guys are like tweeting about your eyes. I'm a Tuscan. I'm a, I'm an Aryan. Sh what? If you think that Jesus was white when he very clearly wasn't and there's no evidence to support that whatsoever, you're gay. Why? Because you want to worship yourself. You want to worship the idea of white people. You want to attribute white ideas to God. You want to worship whites. You're gay for whites if you think Jesus was white. And I want to encourage people to become better Christians. I think Christianity is objectively good. And I think that there's a lot of people, like there's no point in trying to convert a lot of people to Islam, it's, it's fine. But at least look at the fundamentals of Christianity. There's no space for white supremacy in Christianity. It's not there. Racism and Christianity are like oil and water. They don't work. They don't work. And I think that's why there's been a lot of corruption in the West because people keep adding ideas to Christianity. They'll put Americanism first. They'll put white supremacy first. They'll put whatever. They'll put their political ideology first. They, they muddy up Christianity with whatever they think. Now Jesus is white. Now Jesus is Korean. Now Jesus is black. So that's what proves what's more important to you than the faith, than which the message of Jesus, which was objectively good. Now Let's acknowledge where this is coming from. This is coming from the fact that, number one, anti-Islamic sentiment in Christianity in the West is real. For historical reasons, for racial reasons. Let's also acknowledge the fact that ever since Haitians have been the new target of MAGA's ire, Sneeko is now becoming disillusioned with the right. It was cool when they were on black americans on jews on hispanics it was a-okay until they began to on haitian people i don't understand this especially given the fact that sneeko is not even he's not even haitian passing he doesn't even look like he's black and yet that was the line for him now he's anti-white supremacy this man has spent the last year and a half 
building a white supremacist audience and he's not even white. That's the part that blows my mind. He purposefully associated with Nick Fuentes. He went there on purpose to to uh, AFPAC, associated with them, supported them, and now all of a sudden, when they're you know coming after the Haitians and accusing them of eating cats and dogs, now all of a sudden he's not with the racism. Now, obviously, if you're a Christian, you can't be racist. Who are you to tell God which creation is superior or inferior to another? Who are you to determine which race belongs and which race doesn't? Like, obviously, if you're a racist, your your faith with God needs some reassessment. But obviously, the America First Groypers aren't interested in hearing that bullshit from Sneeko. They went off on him in the comment section. Do things if you don't want white people to go extinct, then you are putting your race before your faith. By the way, no one's actively exterminating white people. It's literally just a reproductive issue in which people aren't just, they're just not having enough kids at a replacement rate. It's that simple. Unlike other genocides in which people were baked and gassed, in which entire cities of black people were burned to the ground. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. Whiteness gotta be the coolest shit. Even when you're being genocided, it's like the, it's like, it's like the, it's like the first class version. You know what I'm saying? No one's actively killing you. It's just you're not really having children at replacement rate. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to the white folks. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all's version of genocide is the cool version. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's trade. And by the way, this is also a reflection and representation of their mindset. Because when Sneeko said this, Nick Fuentes, I watch a show, it's hilarious. Evil, but funny. And he was talking about how, you know, Sneeko should move back to Haiti. He should go to Haiti. Now, Sneeko never, ever said anything nasty, insulting, disrespectful toward or about white people. He just didn't want anything to do with white supremacy any further. What he gets in exchange? Go to Haiti. Get out. Go to Haiti. He didn't even say nothing crazy. They already ready to banish his ass to Haiti simply because he won't endorse and support white supremacy. That's their ideology. That's what they're about. Race before religion, race greater than religion, whites first. We don't want any browns, blacks, or yellows in our country. That's literally what, like, this is literally, they're proving his point. And I already knew this, by the way. I already knew that for these people, race comes first. I was already well aware of that fact. I already knew that already knew that don't know why it took this man this long to realize that but i already knew this this is a part of the package race comes first for them they don't want people who believe and i saw nick talking about this on a show where he was like you know people ask me do you would you be cool with a bunch of catholics coming if they were brown then you went on to say oh well you know the brown catholics they vote for the party that supports abortion well of course they do because you guys prioritize race over religion all these Europeans, a lot of them aren't even religious. A lot of Europeans are no longer religious. You want them to immigrate to America. You don't want the brown Catholics. You don't. Race for you is first. Religion comes second. That's just the truth of how this works. And as a result, you don't want Mexicans coming in who are Catholic. The reason why minorities tend to vote Democrat is because there's no place for them in the GOP. They're not welcome because your priority, again, is race over religion. I guarantee if Republicans were, were more welcoming toward minorities, you'd see a lot more black people voting Republican. Black people like guns. A lot of black people are anti-abortion. Like the idea that minority groups are super duper liberal is not true. A lot, most of the really die-hard liberals are white. The people who are pro-LGBTQ and blah, blah. The people who are real progressive standing on business for real, they're white. They're not black. They're not brown. They're white. But these minority groups have no choice but to vote progressive because that's the only way they have a future in this country. Y'all won't give non-whites a path to representation within your political party. So, of course, they're not going to vote for you. Their prosperity, their existence in this country is dependent upon being accepted as Americans regardless of the color of their skin. And your movement won't welcome that, whether it's Nick Fuentes or even just the standard MAGA movement. 
And now they're turning on this man, Sneeko, because he's meeting with Jewish people and trying to, you know, have positive conversations with rabbis. Now they're mad at him. They're turning on him. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Rare El Sneeko, Jews aren't our friends. Free Palestine. Why do the Jews have shoes on and you don't? I mean, you can't make this stuff up. My biggest issue with Sneeko is like, what do you believe, bro? Like, seriously, like, what do you actually believe? I don't even know if Sneeko will be Muslim in two years. Because now he had a fallout with Andrew Tate publicly. And Andrew Tate was the reason why Sneeko converted to Islam. So it begs the question, what's, what's next for this guy? Because it's like, at 24, you decide to embrace white nationalism when you're not white. You decide to embrace anti-black racism when you're quarter black. You decide to embrace anti-Semitism when you're quarter Jewish. What the, like, what is it? What is he going to believe next? I, I can't take, I can't take Sneak. I'm sorry. I just can't take Sneeko seriously. Like, it's great that he's moving, you know, toward a much more positive mindset and a much more positive ideology. But even then, I can't tell with this guy because he falls out with Tate and the, the, the argument is, the discussion is, oh, well, Andrew Tate needs to realize that the young people need something positive to look up to. They need someone who's not prideful. They need someone who's not arrogant. And it's like, bro, as much misogyny and anti-Semitism and anti-black racism you've permeated through the internet for the last year and a half, you think you get to tell Andrew Tate what he can or can't say, how he can or can't act toward you? You've spread more negativity on the internet than him. He's just now joining the racism party. You've been at it for the last year and a half. And through all of that, your only takeaway is he's arrogant. You need to be focused on the hatred you've spread on the internet for the last year and trying to atone for that. Worry about that. Worry about trying to clean up the mess you've made in propagating and parroting, you know, misogynistic, uh, you know, narratives. You need to be focused on repairing the damage you've done to the Jewish community. You need to be focused on repairing the damage you've done to black folk because you, of your own free will, parroted this shit. You have been ostensibly worse with this stuff than Tate. And that's saying something because Tate's like the villain. Like he's like the ultra super villain of misogyny on the internet. And I've watched enough of you and Tate to know that you've been even, even more brazenly disrespectful in just even direct conversation with women, which is unthinkable. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can take Sneeko seriously. It's just, he's everywhere. He's a leaf in the wind. The guy who just like, I can't take his ideology seriously. Like if you're looking to Sneeko for ideological direction, if you're looking to Sneeko for understanding of geopolitics, religion, philosophy, and morals, you are a lost soul. Like you are a literally, it's just the blind leading the blind off of a never ending cliff. There's no, there's no end to the fall.